you know what? I'm not going to waste any time on an intro. You can read titles. You know what? I said it. MC Riot is trans and nothing can stop me. This is Objective Facts and Logic, baby. No time for your little piss baby feelings. Let's get right into it. Fuck the music! I make it care! I fuck the music with my serpent So for the actual conspiracy theory, or no, scientific factual uh, theory I've researched for years, MC Riot is actually a post-transition FTM. Now, I know this sounds a little weird, but hear me out. <laughs> this is so stupid. Let's first look at the most iconic thing about MC Ride. Number one, he screams a lot. If you ever talk to a trans person, they're always screaming 24-7. It might not be external, but at the very least, it's internal. Second off, if you've ever talked to a single FTM, especially after top surgery, they will never wear a shirt ever, even if you pay them money and uh, kill their family. MC Wright has never been photographed with a t-shirt on, and in any concert he's always up there with his shirt off screaming. MC Wright is notoriously secretive about his past, to the point that he rarely does any forms of interviews, or talking about his past, or nor the subject of his music. Let's look at some of the big ideas first off. First off, the Money Store as an album cover is very strange, not very related to the other album covers in the entire catalog of, you know, the Death Grips discography. It's the only real album that has any real gender bending type of elements where you see, you know, women with hair, man with boob, and it's black and white, and there's obvious contrast between the two on the cover. For no real discernible reason, not a lot of the songs don't necessarily seem to be about trans stuff or anything like that beyond just screaming. But it's very strange, the, the gender bending elements that they have in just the money store as an album cover. Next up, No Love Deep Web's album art. So the, the story behind No Love Deep Web as an album cover is beyond being a, the drummer's a huge penis, but after the money store, their label wanted to be advertising them as much as possible, to which they despise, and intentionally made their next album's picture a picture of the drummer's penis to avoid being advertised and made mainstream like a fucking hipster. But the thing is, the penis you see is an MC Ride's penis, even though he's the band's front member. For some reason, it's Zach Hill's penis. Why did they not pick MC Ride's penis for the thing? He's like the front man. I guess it's a very involved, concerted e effort, and they don't necessarily put a lot of emphasis on like, oh, MC Ride is the head band member, or really focus on any band members. But why would they pick Zach's penis out of the <laughs> out of the three? That is, unless MC Ride doesn't have one. Bam. <laughs> Next, we gotta look at the lyrics. There's some specific songs, which some very strange references into them. First off, let's look up Up My Sleeves by Death Grips. So first off, in this song name, Up My Sleeves, the phrase Up My Sleeves, which is repeated constantly over and over, is quite literally a reference to him paranoidly just reassuring to himself that he's got something hidden, something up his sleeves, that he's got something hidden. And then if you look on later in the song, this album has weird allusions to just sex and other things. I think a big one is, Snatch it because I got the queen's tits. Um, obvious FTM has the queen tits. Not good thing. That's why me scream. And then in the song, <laughs> he refers to a lot of things as my fetish, which if you ever talk to a trans person, especially an egg in like denial, the first thing they'll say is, oh, it's a fetish. Oh, it's George Soros is poisoning the water supply. I'm not really trans. Ha ha ha. It's just a fetish or stuff like that. And the entire song is essentially talking about this fetish. And then in the refrain too, he always says, I've always known, I've always known which seems to be just a really strange self-referential line. So all I'm saying is this is some weird coded language inside of this. All right, the next one we have is the song Piss Piss by Death Grips, in which he says the line, if I were her and she was him, we would go and fuck ourselves again and again. Obvi another example of weird gender bending stuff, but, and the biggest thing is number one, if you've ever met a single trans person and they don't listen to Death Grips, they're not trans, they're a trender, they were making it up for internet points, Reddit karma, Fortnite beat. What am I even saying? No one can tell if someone's transgender or not. It's a very personal thing. And I mean, I can hardly like count to three. Like, how the fuck am I going to know if somebody else is transgender? And also, it's just the statement of trying to figure out or accuse people of being transgender is an awfully reductive statement. 
just then you can just accuse anyone who performs any feminine behavior or masculine behavior of being secretly trans and therefore enforcing gender norms even harsher on people just with a new arbitrary set of restrictions. MC Ride wore pink. Are they secretly trans? MC Ride's really a trans woman, guys. I figured this out. The theory is just kind of a theory that kind of sticks out to me and it has a weird running theme. It's just some kind of bullshit I think about for fun. I don't take it seriously. What I make it? 17 minute video about it. I don't, I mean, can you blame me? Like trans people are so starved for representation. Like in the West you got, uh, I think there's that movie Jack and Jill where Adam Sandler cross dresses and that's the joke. Adam Sandler definitely had one of those eyes wide shut, like orgy parties. We're just watching him and masturbating to himself as the woman and laughing how he managed to get this on the, Adam Sandler, you're a sick fuck. This is the best representation. Yeah, that's Al Pacino in the Dunkachino. Yeah, that's a respected actor. Thank God for Jack and Jill. And then in the East, you got Chinese cartoons where the uh, anime femboys are a wooga humana humana fetish material. I mean, that's kind of hot, but like, and I'm definitely gonna beat my meat to it later, but like, what's that guy's name? Like, not Alfonso? I don't know. Just makes my pee pee hard. <sighs> Hold up. It's got a notification. Uh, another comment. Lol, STFU, Trumer, Boomer, Cockadoomer. 40% Cope Seethe, Dilate, you know, Dilate, Cope Seethe. Okay, this just goes on for a while. Okay, yeah. Not everything is trans, you idiot. Stop trying to enforce your beliefs upon others. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's right. I don't know why I made this video. Wait, hold up, hold, hold, hold up. I'm going to unsubscribe from your Patreon now? Excuse me? Did I say you could do that? You motherfucker. You mother- Remove everything I just said about uncertainty from the last four minutes. It was Joker's trick, sorry. MC Wright is trans, and that's a scientific fact. Put that on- put the fact. <laughs> the fact. Fact. Thomas Jefferson is trans, because I saw this image online, and it said so. And yeah, it's right there. You can't- no, 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 no that's- that's- that's fact. Rivers Cuomo is secretly trans, because look, here's a picture of him in women's clothing. Fact. Eager Raptor is trans, because, um, uh, look at the right thread, I don't know. Uh, fact. Soldier Boy is trans. He doesn't wear a shirt. Um, and also when I met him, he told me that it was very private and confident. I shouldn't be revealing this. But um, yeah, fact. J.K. Rowling is trans because she hates trans women, and all trans women hate themselves. Thus, by the transitive property, making J.K. Rowling trans. Fact. Ben Shapiro is trans because only trans women hate women. That's our thing. You can't steal that from us, Ben. Fact. Mario Goombas is trans because they want to be stepped on. Only trans people want that. Okay. Stop commenting that in the comments. Okay. You gotta donate to my Patreon first, and then we can talk, okay? Stop bothering me with this shit. Fact, every sexual predator in the world is trans because, um, uh, uh, sexual assault in bathrooms, trans people? Yeah, that works. Fact, every person with asthma is trans because only FTMs have trouble breathing. That's their culture. You can't take that away from them. Every person who is into CBT is trans. I don't need to explain this to you. Cut penis off? Lol. Instant comedy. Fact. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Every person is trans. In the womb, everybody, they, 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 they start off as female and develop according to their chromosomes. Oh my god, get blurred right on the, on the phone, I've solved trans people. I, I've done it. Everybody's now trans. I've won, but at what cost? <sighs> Oh my god. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. I forgot about somebody. Mario Brothers with a gun? Who says fuck? Oh my god, of course. The most badass character of all time could never be trans. Oh, what's this? Mario Brothers with a gun who says fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa hold up. You want me to watch a video proving MC Riot is cis? That's fucking stupid. Dislike. Everyone's trans. No one could be cis. Dumbass hoe. Dislike. Comment the word late YouTuber. Uh, sorry, this took a month. <laughs>